How did you know he was gonna do that? I was sure he was about to kill you. Did you sense something? I didn't know. I took a gamble on him and hoped he'd come up with the right answer. Lucky for us, he did. strangers like that. <coughs> I'm sorry. Forgive him. My son mistook you for our dear Miss Micah. It must have been the hair. Hers was exactly the same color. Right. Easy mistake to make. Miss Micah is beloved by our god Benavelza. What with a rose-colored hair? Some even speculate that she could be the chosen one. The savior. That's because Micah heard the voice of God. She told me. The savior with rose-colored hair, huh? Yes. Dear Miss Micah. <coughs> she is a wonderful young woman. Always coming to the aid of the sick and ailing. Like myself. We've been waiting ages for her next visit. I thought you were her. Were you expecting her to come again soon? Uh-huh. And guess what else? She even promised us she would bring a phantom rose for us next time she came. It's a crimson-colored flower, very similar to a rose. But while everyone knows of it, no one's ever actually seen one. They're said to never wither or die. They maintain their life and beauty forever. A flower that never dies. It's no wonder no one's ever found one. <laughs> You're not easily fooled, are you? Yes, the Phantom Rose is nothing more than a fairy tale told to children. But this is what Micah said when she left. I'll bring you the legendary flower that no one believes can be found. So don't you give up on hope. Keep living. As you can see, I don't have much time left. But when she told me to go on living, I wanted to hold on, just so I wouldn't let her down. Fake savior lady! If you see the real Maiko around, tell her that she better not forget her promise to me, okay? Ulrich, who taught you it was okay to be rude to others? Sure, kid. I'll tell her not to forget about your flower. Thanks. You're all right for a fake.
better get ready for the next fight. Will not forget the Whenever I come here around noon, I always see a man standing around lost in his own thoughts. His name is Armand. Shadow Hunter has broken his long silence and returned once again. That is to say, if he's the real hunter. There's a man who comes out here to read his journal. Oh, me! You 
you seem a bit troubled. Yes, it's true, I am, but I don't know that it's something I'd feel comfortable discussing with a stranger. Fine, I wouldn't want to force you to talk. My, oh... You are a rather frank one, aren't you, miss? It's not that I've been sworn to silence or anything. Quite the opposite. I feel like I've got to tell someone. Let me start from the beginning. I am Aramaya, one of the blessed members of the Order tasked with looking after Lady Vanille. Did you say Vanille? Yes, our Lady Vanille. The one and only holy saint who has been gifted with the mysterious ability to hear the cries of the dead that are carried on the winds of chaos. Vanille, the saint? Yes. Well, the fact is that the Holy One is particularly attached to one particular belonging. A small stone that she always carries. I'm guessing it's no regular piece of rock. You're quite right. It seems like something very special. It reflects the light with a rainbow iridescence. But several days ago, that very stone was stolen by some reprehensible thief. Ever since its disappearance, the poor saint has hardly said a word. She's completely withdrawn. She can't find the thief? Find the thief? The Holy Saint? She cannot leave the cathedral. It is completely out of the question. I see. So you keep your precious saint locked up like some sort of criminal or animal. Uh, uh, you say too much. Well, the, the only reason the saint is kept within the cathedral is for her own safety and protection. She can't be trusted with herself? <sighs> yes, that's it, exactly. If what you say is true, and she never leaves the Cathedral, then only other Order members could have gotten to her. You, you're suggesting that a member of the Order stole the Saint's precious belonging? You could not be more wrong. It's impossible. Then you admit others into the Cathedral to see your Saint, do you? There is an outfit which is allowed to enter to make their deliveries, but... Their staff always go through a thorough inspection. They couldn't even sneak out a pebble if they tried. There's an exception to every rule. Where do I find them? I, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. I think they work out of the warehouse district. The warehouse district, huh? I don't know how far I'll get, but at least I can give it a shot. Oh, you are far too kind. Just knowing that there are such generous soul-searching will surely put the saint at ease.
Shane? What's the story with the box? Well, it was given to us by a customer, but they must have forgotten to address it. Why don't you just give it back to that customer? Well, that's where things get a bit sticky, you see. One of our new lads handled the package, said some bigwig from the cathedral gave it to him, asked if we could hold it for a while. From the cathedral, huh? Let me guess. That bigwig is tied to the saint somehow, aren't they? How'd you know that? That's amazing. The new lad was delivering packages to the saint's quarters when he met this person. Never even got their name, or anything. <sighs> We've really stuck our foot in it now. The Order is one of our biggest customers. We can't go back and admit we took a package from someone there without checking it. I may be able to help you out. I'm looking for something that was taken from the Cathedral. I'd like to check that box. If it's there, I'll return it myself. I'll take full responsibility for it. I'd love to let you take a look, but I haven't been able to get it open. I'm thinking it's gonna have to be smashed open at this rate. <laughs> Fine, I can handle that. Wait, what? Hold on, <laughs> seriously? Y you're kidding, right? No, not really. This has to be the stone that Aramiah was talking about, the one stolen from Vanille. So it wasn't stolen by an outsider, but taken from within the Order. That's worrisome. Could there be someone within the Order with a grudge against Vanille? Maybe I should talk to that woman from the Order again, Aramiah. She might be able to answer some questions. Is this the stone that Vanille's missing? Oh! This rainbow sparkle, this sheen, yes! This is it exactly! This saint will be thrilled to have it back, I'm sure! I don't know how close you are with Vanille, but do you know why she cares so much about that particular stone? I do. The saint confided the truth to me when it appeared lost forever. She told me that this stone, this very stone, was held clutched in her hand when she awoke from her crystal stasis 13 years ago. She claims this stone holds a special power. Every once in a very rare while, it shows a glimpse of the precious family who is lost to her now. I can tell she cares for them with all her heart. Family? She must have meant Fang. <gasps> oh my! You know of Lady Fang? Yes, it seems it was possible for the saint to sometimes get a glimpse of Lady Fang in the facets of that stone. I can see why the stone meant so much to her. Tell Vanille I'm glad she has it back safe and sound. Oh, I couldn't possibly give her that message. But you will have a chance to tell her yourself. Huh? The holy saint herself has expressed an interest in seeing you. And so I was asked to give you this. Here. Hmm. A key. This is a copy of the key that unlocks the service entrance to the cathedral. The saint has no duties at this hour and should be found in her chambers. The gates are locked. But if you use that key that you have there... Then... I'll be able to see Vanille. Yes. <laughs> Just thinking that I might get to see the saint smile again fills my heart with nothing but joy and happiness.
lightning? Long time no see, Vanille. You look well, and you haven't changed. You're just as I remember. <laughs> Me and everyone else. But you don't mean it like that, do you? Vanille, we'd fought together once a long time ago. We were comrades in arms in a battle against gods who toyed with human destiny. And at the end of that battle, she sacrificed herself. She turned into a great crystal pillar. Rising from the plains of Pulse, holding a world full of people safe in the sky. But then 13 years ago, she came back. <laughs> <sighs> you again? Oh. <laughs> so you two know each other? Oh yes, we've been together ever since I woke up. Right, thick as thieves. But Fang's not around. Well, we woke up at the same time, and we were together for a while, but she left. And you decided to stay behind under the protection of the Order? You must have a reason. Uh-huh. There's something I have to do. It has to be me, and it has to happen right here. There's a lot of chaos swirling around in here. I'd have thought the Order's Cathedral at least would still be clear. Yes, yes, I know. It hurts terribly. I understand. But it won't be long now. You'll be free soon. Vanille, who are you talking to? What is this stuff? A wind of sorrow, the lament of the dead. Can't you hear their voices? Lost souls crying out in pain and suffering. You mean this wind is the dead? Yeah, they've been drawn here, one after another. All the people who died after the chaos poured through the gate. They've been swallowed by the chaos, and now they're trapped inside. I can feel it. All their sadness, all their grief, they're swelling around me. Every single cry feels like a dagger, right in my heart. <sighs> there must be so many millions of souls, and you feel all their pain? That can't be. Our world is being destroyed. There's no place for them to come back to. And there's no way for them to be reborn anymore. So they're caught in the chaos with their pain. They just can't escape it. The Order believes that the souls have to be saved from their sorrow. They say the only way to do that is to offer them oblivion. Fenil's job is to call them to her so that can happen. All of those souls at the same time? But Vanille, will you be able to handle all that? I don't have any choice. Besides, if she doesn't, can you guess what will happen? This wind has been building for years. Layers of souls, a black hole of pain. Try and imagine how much energy is inside. If it ever got out, all at once. It'd be the end of this world, and the future as well. Finally, I have...
have you back. Did you run into a chaos infusion or something? Yeah, but don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, and Vanille was looking well. Don't you think so? Hope, is it me or do you sound happy? Does someone have a little crush? What are you talking about, Light? Of course not. Light, keep in mind that it's almost time for you to return to the Ark. I hear rumors of the murder victims returning from the beyond. You know, the ones killed by the children of Etro. Apparitions go against the Order's beliefs. I suspect this is all nothing more than a wild rumor fanned by superstition. like you're enjoying yourself. Good book? It's my journal. I've written in it for years. I read through it every day. It reminds me of the past. I'm retired, so I have plenty of time on my hands. Those are all yours? Every single one? I've been writing for 500 years now. That adds up, you know. <laughs> ah, the memories. I've experienced so much in those years. I've really led a great life. Nowadays, I find joy in reading about the past, and enjoying freshly baked delicious muffins. That's all a simple man like me really needs. The simple pleasures in life for a simple man. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, speaking of freshly baked muffins... Fresh out of the oven, just the way you like them. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much, young man. You say that to me every day. Change it up a little, will ya? <laughs> oh, I'll think of something different for you tomorrow. Hmm. Let me see here. There you go. Thanks. See ya. Marlin bakes the most mouth-watering muffins. They're exquisite. He even delivers them to me here personally every day. That's nice. You two seem like your old friends. Well, I'd like to think we're more than that. Talking to him always cheers me up. I've never had a family of my own. To me, that friendly boy who brings me muffins every day is like the son I never had. Great memories, great food, and great friends. What more do you need? Looks like you're all set. Indeed I am. I know we don't have much longer in this world, but even if everything ends tomorrow, I'll have no regrets. Well, except for one little thing. It's about these journals. Well, I'm afraid I lost the first one some time ago. It chronicles the first 50 years of my life. 50 years. You want it back, of course. Yes, I do. I don't suppose I could ask. Well, do you think you could look around for it? Sure, why not? I'll take a look. How will I know it's yours? My name is written on the cover. I don't think you should have any problems recognizing it. Oh, and I'd like to ask you not to read it if you find it. Not to say my life has been all that exciting. <laughs> of course. Hmm. It'll be tricky to find, though. Is there anything else that might help? Do you remember where or when you lost it? Well... Hmm. It's a bit of a long shot, but... I may have donated it with some of my old books by mistake, a long time ago. If memory serves, they went to... a woman named Mitka. She runs a second-hand shop, or used to. <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know where she is now, or what she's doing. Do you know anyone named Mitka? She owned a second-hand shop long ago in this city. 
Mitka. I know someone with that name. I see her around the commercial district all the time. From the looks of it, she doesn't own a shop, though. There's really not much time left until you need to return to the Ark. seeds? Because if you do, well, I've got the gill. That's a spirit. Looking forward to seeing more, girlie. 